Good evening folks, tonight we're going to put together some homemade gyros, which are better known as euros. I looked through all my kitchen cabinets, I couldn't find a spit to cook these on, so I've come up with an idea that others have to actually make these in my oven. So I'm going to show you how to put together a traditional Greek euro. The recipe is simple and it tastes as good as anything you've had out there. So let's get started with this. All right, the first step in making our euros is we're gonna take one red onion, put it into this food processor, just like such. Uh, we've got some uh, rosemary and some Italian parsley, four pieces of uh, garlic, a tease of some sea salt. We're going to use this kind of pulse thing with this. Using all of our aromatic. Alright, now that we have pulsated our dry ingredients, we're going to add into our food processor one pound of ground lamb and one pound of ground beef. If you don't have a food processor, this probably is not going to come out right. You need a pretty good sized food processor to make this work. So what we're going to do is take this and grind this into a paste. All right, we've got our oven, like I said, preheated to 350 degrees. We now have a nice lamb and beef paste that we will use, and we'll put that right into a wood pan here. Smash that down. Get this together. I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all in there. We now have our beef and lamb mixture, our paste, as you may say, ready to pop into the oven. And we're going to cook this mixture for exactly one half hour. The next step we've got is to make up our tzatziki sauce, which is the traditional sauce that goes with these euros. And I'm using a quarter of an English cucumber that I've uh, shredded. Now that has no seeds in it. And then I've got six ounces of no fat, plain Greek yogurt that I'm going to put right into the uh, bowl here. Into that, I will add a half of a lemon squeezed, a tease of sea salt, call it a teaspoon and uh, a teaspoon of black pepper along with a half of a teaspoon of some minced garlic. And what we're gonna wanna do is thoroughly combine these ingredients. We're gonna set these aside, let all these uh, spices infuse. All right, I have taken out the gyro meat from the oven set it aside let it cool and now I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it onto a cookie sheet and there it sits right there I have prepared up some of my toppings my oven is now set on broil and I'm going to take this gyro loaf and I'm going to brown up the edges make them nice and crispy just like you get a, a real gyro and once I've done that we'll come back all right we've got some uh, fresh pita rounds that we're going to put back into the broiler to warm them up. As you can see, the uh, gyro loaf has formed a nice crust on it. All right, as you can see, I have carved off some of this gyro meat. Pretty amazing. We'll take a little bit of this tzatziki sauce. We'll lay this down into our gyro. Spread it around. Place some of the meat right onto the places on, of course, some aluminum foil. I'm going to dress this up with just a little bit of red onion. And uh, some lettuce for some crunch. And then we're gonna roll this up and see how it tastes. All right, it's Glenn the Ball Chef with the homemade gyro. 
This is as good as I've had in any Greek restaurant. Give this simple recipe a try. You'll be amazed. Thanks for watching, and as always, bon appetit.